like this one. Hey, can you kill the music for a second, please? Hey, hey, Tyler. Oh, I've been talking to Dunk, and it turns out that uh, your boss has started to uh, lose faith in you. Oh, and he tried to back out of our deal. Because, you know, the deal is that if I, uh, I'm not, I don't trust him, he might be. The deal is if I beat you, I get to fight Derek Neal, which is what I want, I'm going to beat you. But Derek has said that uh, the only way it's going to happen now is if he gets to pick the stipulation for our fight. And I said I would agree to that, and Dunk said that it would be fair if I got to pick the stipulation for tonight. You know, a chairs match does sound pretty good, doesn't it? But you know what sounds even better in my opinion? A full-blown, no disqualification match between Stephen Michaels and Tyler Franks. If you guys want to see that, You've been doing this a while. Can you still count to three? That's all we need tonight, all right, baby? So uh, ring the bell, please. Well, mistakes have been raised here. Already a lot on the line, but now a no disqualification match. Tyler swings a chair. Oh! He walks right into the knee of Stephen Michaels. Steven fired up, wanting to get his hands on Derek Neal. Oh, a fight that was already personal, but now this rivalry going one step further as Derek Neal has now made it personal, bringing in Steven's son. It escalates. It gets worse every time, and now Tyler Franks is trapped in a ring full of chairs with Steven Michaels. Right now, he is in the lion's den, covered in a slab of meat. Indeed. Tyler Franks may be the new golden boy of the cortege, but he is facing the former cortege enforcer, the man that Derek Neal used to trust to handle all the dirty business. And speaking of handling the dirty business, it seems like Tyler Franks is Taking it upon himself to do a little business for the Cortez. Been bringing in some new members while Derek Neal has been away. He recently added Dave Stage to the Cortez roster. Will remains to be seen what Derek Neal will think of that. Oh, Stephen oh. right first. Woo. Steven Michaels had a head-on collision with that chair. Still in the fight, though. The definite, the definite experience advantage belongs to Stephen Michaels in this contest, and probably the strength advantage as well. Expert drop kick there from Tyler France. Now goes for a pin. You no, know, not often you see a drop kick in a no disqualification match. Indeed. But Tyler Franks is definitely showing us the reason why Derek Neal picked him as his new protege. Tyler Franks trying to remain calm and collected, sticking to his gun, sticking to what he knows. And now attacking that injured arm. Tyler Franks may be young, but he's got a cool head and he's got a fighter's mind. Oh, big shot to Steven Michaels. Of course. Tyler Franks, the last line of defense. If Steven Michaels wants to face off with Derek Neal, he has to make it through this match first. So it is all on Tyler Franks. You gotta believe that Tyler Franks is gonna do whatever he can to protect his new mentor the from the pounce. wrath of Michaels. Oh. Tyler Franks took that ring rope right in the Adam's apple. And you can see, you see the welts forming already on the body of the golden protege. 
You can also see all the tape on the right hand of Stephen Michaels. Stephen had a mind here. What is going on through the diabolical mind? Nothing good for Tyler Franks, that's for sure. Oh! oh just thrown halfway across the ring. Looking like that injured hand is probably fully recovered at this point, Carmen. Just adding chair after chair to this pile. Steve, what does he have in mind here? Steven Michaels came out here and started pulling chairs out like he was having a garage sale. Looking like some abstract art here. Getting a little avant-garde. Grease Monkey's seen art cars with more cohesion than that. And the thing is, all this chaos is going to make it all the more painful. Oh, no! Oh, Tyler Franks smartly dropping out and now spinning back kick. Tyler Franks looking to send Stephen Michaels into the pile now. Oh! Tyler Franks gets flipped onto his back. And now it's a battle to avoid the chair. Hey, oh! Into it. That lower back of Tyler Franks driven right into the contraption. Stephen Michaels came barreling in like a dump truck and just flattened Tyler Franks. And despite crashing into that pile of chairs, Tyler Franks was able to kick out. Uh oh. No, Carmen. No, Grease Monkey can't take it. It's a door! Oh, no. <laughs> I can they keep doing this, Carmen? Everybody knows how Grease Monkey feels about doors. Tyler Franks mounting some offense here, trying to use that speed and some quick strikes to get past the strength and size of Stephen Michaels. Michaels right to the corner. Oh! He is taking across that top rope and now Stephen Michaels down to a knee. Little payback from earlier. Oh! Stephen Michaels with a clubbing blow. Trading blows on the apron now. A very dangerous place to be. Uh-oh. Like Franks have in mind here. Tyler Franks has ill intentions. Something but, devious oh, oh. here. Made his way back into the ring and now, oh! But he holds on. What's he going for now? for a pinfall. Oh! Not enough. Now what does Tyler Franks have in mind? Steven Michaels makes his way back up to his feet. Tyler Franks positioning that door between two chairs. Making a bit of a makeshift table. Last like, time I saw one of these in a Tyler Franks match, it was him being driven through it. It did not end well for him. His former partner, Hunter Drake. Oh! Right to the top of the head! It's Steven Michaels! Will get his hand! Stephen Michaels drove Tyler Franks through that door like a nail through a board. And the rally towers waving in Huntsville, Alabama. The 
race to finally get his hand on Derek. Oh, Steven Michaels is on top of the world right now, Carmen. 